y'all didn't bully a dentist for holding down her toddler to brush his teeth and accuse her of traumatizing him tell me that didn't really happen people are wild school shootings and lockdowns those aren't traumatizing as long as we've got thoughts and prayers but a mother holding down her child at a developmentally appropriate level so that she could brush his teeth and avoid him getting cavities that's traumatizing Knowing that in the U.S. there's up to 46% of kids under the age of 19 who suffer from cavities that have not been dealt with. I don't know who needs to hear this, but toddlers don't exactly have critical thinking skills. They barely have ass wiping skills. They don't understand the importance of self-care and grooming. They're still working on communication and emotional regulation, so we have to teach them self-care and grooming skills. Also, while some toddlers may open their mouth and say, ah, when you tell them to say, ah, others will just look at you like you're crazy, spit in your mouth and say, look at Linda, no. What exactly are you expecting parents to do when they're living with an unreasonable human being that's not done fully growing and developing yet, who rely on them for all of their basic needs, including self-care and oral hygiene? I'll tell you what to do. You take care of them safely. You try all other measures. You try to make it fun. You try to sing. You try to get them involved. You try to do all those other things. But if they're unreasonable and it's late and you need to get to bed and they need to get to bed and you've tried everything, it is perfectly fine for them to get swaddled by the gentle legs of their parent to get their teeth brushed versus the alternative, which is one, skip tooth brushing, which is terrible. Good dental care does start in childhood. Baby teeth are important. And you know what's more traumatizing than what she was doing is having to undergo anesthesia and getting all these cavities fixed and caps done and root canals and God knows what else. Or option two, which is like trying to get them wrangled in any other way where one person ends up with a toothbrush in their eyeball and the other one ends up with a bite cheek on their face. So yeah, as a pediatrician, you have my permission that if you can't gentle parent your way to get your toddler to comply with health requirements, vaccines, teeth brushing, important things like that, you can swaddle them gently, make everything happen quickly and move on with your day. Their future older self with perfect teeth will thank you for it. Y'all need to revisit the definition of trauma. And get your priorities straight, people, because this shit's embarrassing. Poor lady.